Okay. Oh, I think I just see Caleb. If we're seeing the, uh... If we're seeing the... The me gunner. Oh, it's even the businesswoman me gunner. I think... I'm pretty sure I've seen this one before. I think I didn't see Caleb. Alright, anyway. Winner's finals. Infinite deletion. Wink, wink. Versus, uh... Mouse rats. Now I gotta update the thumbnail. Even pretty even. But Mousetrap's beginning to pull ahead just a little bit. Oh man, that uh, you can definitely tell that, that up uh, the recovery like with that up B is gonna be kinda strained around T jolts. It's gonna be a bit of difficult. Alright, nice hang there. Boom. Okay, that's the that's the silent uh, missile thing working really well. D does it not get hit by projectiles? Like there were T jolts on the field. That's really interesting. All right, well, suddenly something that looked like it was in Maltrach's flavor, uh, deletion doing a pretty good job, uh, turning it around. Also heavy enough to survive that dash attack. Nice uh, evasion of the the thunder. Okay, up throw and still not going to be enough. Nice. All right, I like that. Uh, back up from. All right, that's going to be the stock. There we go. Uh, you know, w w again with like keep away characters, uh, keep away characters. Sixty damage could be fairly solid, but it's really going to depend on these next interactions. And honestly, Mouse Rat's kind of treating it like he just lost his first few turns. Uh, again, that quick damage in, but. Uh, really, the damage output by deletion is keeping him uh, in the lead. But as I say that, that starts closing the gap. I don't know if the uh, the sign the stealth flat. Okay, I actually like missed that completely. I don't know what did it. Was it another stealth blast? I like I literally blinked and I, I missed it. All right, dodging the thunder. It was another one. Okay. So yeah, stealth bath really just uh, kind of really helping him out uh, in the situation. It was stealthy so much that I missed it. All right, tail end of the forward air gonna keep Mouse Rat in this game. Very competitive, off taking him off the side, zero to zero. Uh, I think right now uh, Deletion has like the element of surprise on his hands. Uh, he's like losing a a few turns, but. Yeah, I just see Caleb. Okay. All right. Boom. boom, boom. <clears throat> All right. See, so Caleb, not really letting the fact that he's down in percent really bother him or change his gameplay, which is a really good thing to do because it doesn't, like, the. It's kind of a fallacy because you're losing, you have to approach. It's like, no, you just have to approach. You have to be smart about it. So, like, if you're just keeping gameplay going, uh, you can make some things happen. But Mousetrap isn't falling for it. Nice uh, get-up attack to stuff the the forward smash. You already had seen that Mousetrap was, like, going to charge it there in previous iterations. So, yeah. All right, this is still kind of a difficult situation here. Not gonna be enough. Still not enough, but we're getting to the point where it's probably, it, like, we're getting close. Nice, I like the hang. Mousetrap just like kind of trying to read movement ahead of time, but uh, trying to, can't force that reaction. 
Uh, but we, we will see if Mouse Rider is able to catch on to that and being like, okay, if you're going to hang, then I'll do something else. Nice. I like this. I would like to see like a run up to the ledge and then dash back to like force a reaction. Like, nice. Oh my God. The, could he lose this? Certainly possible. But he's been like, oh my God, the, the stealth. All right. I think he almost wanted to do an up smash out of shield there. No stealth shots. Yeah, Mouse Rider's definitely much more aware of them. Ooh, scary. Tried to cross him up with the Uppy, but uh, Mouse Rider had enough time to react and get that dash attack out to take out game one. All right. Pretty good game there. Oh, that's funny. The T-Jolt went, like, right over the, the, the nade. Look at this. At the very beginning, right here. He's going to shoot it. And then it's going to go right over it. Poof. Little arc. That's cute. Damn, that stealth bomber. I'm going to see that again. Because that's really, like... What a move. Just a tiny little sparkle, huh? Just... Wow. Barely even see it. Jane Wick is back. <laughs> nice one, Sketch. <laughs> All right. Yep, there was the, the down throw to even up the stocks again. And then we're going to... Oh, I think this was the kill that I missed with the other stealth bomber, right? I think so. Oh, my God. Even got it, like, in the air. Wow. That move is kind of sick. Okay. And the fact that, like, this was almost, like, um, this was almost Mouse Rat's match to lose. But, all right. So now, going to game two. And, uh, see Caleb opting to go Pac-Man. His main. One, yeah, I, I don't know. The Gunner was actually pretty competitive. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Gunner make another uh, showing in this set. But it's a game, it's a best of five, so there's still plenty of time. Um, if uh, Caleb is able to get the get this game, and then maybe the next game, then he'll have counter pick advantage for game five if he wants to play like extra safe. Although, on, like, it could, it honestly could come down to what the stage selections are on counter pick or what, uh, yeah, based on like what Pikachu either counter picks or, uh, leaves open for Caleb's counter picks. So, yeah, right now, only only taking 30 damage. Uh, Pikachu's having some difficulty trying to catch Pac-Man here. Finally gonna get something to, to bite a little bit. Oh, even stuffing the, I don't know what to call it, the, the pellet or something, but yeah. Uh, normally that uh, at the start, that move has like, I think invincibility, it might be super armor, but anyway, Pikachu beating it out with the uh, thunder. Okay, and now, so even though uh, Caleb had a pretty large uh, percent lead, ends up losing the stock first, but it leaves open the window of possibility of just like evening it up uh, really uh, sooner than later, if he's able to get this kill, which he does, now only taking 40 damage, not the worst position to be in, especially uh, on a stage like Town City, very high blast zone, uh, Pac-Man's hard to catch in general. Um, so yeah, and just like that, you know, already even percentages here. Okay, careful. Okay. A lot of separation happening right now. Not too much interaction. So it's a, it's usually to be expected uh, from Pac-Man. So like, there's not really too much. Uh, you know, he's just kind of keeping in, keeping safe, and uh, yeah, they're just edging, just little bits of percentages. Again, this is more you know marginal, marginal gameplay. 
where each percent really matters. Ooh! If he opted to go that a little bit lower, but uh, it ended up catching the two frame, so uh, really well placed forward smash there by Mouse Rat. Um, definitely don't think Caleb saw that coming at all, but it's like the hindsight of like, oh, I should have recovered a little bit lower, and it would have. Well, no, because it was a two frame, so it would have popped up anyway. I guess if he, was, if he held down, he would have maybe armored it. I don't know when the armor runs out, so I won't. I don't have liberty to speak on that really. Okay, pretty similar situation, uh, the previous stock, where Kale doesn't have too much damage, but is down a stock, where El Mouse Rat is super high in percent, so we could see even stocks very soon. Uh, but if Mouse Rat uh, is able to kind of just like adjust his game plan to, okay, almost died to the, the same apple. But, you know, it didn't. So, like I was saying, like, if he's able to adjust to the gameplay just so that he can get in a little bit more damage, just to kind of, like, really, uh, like, solidify a lead where he is comfortable, then uh, he, he'll set up a really good position for himself. And right now, he, he's, he's doing just that. 75 damage. I would want a little... Well, I mean, Pac-Man's still going to have difficulty approaching. I would still want a little bit more. If we get to triple ditches, we're going to be in a really healthy position here. Okay, trying to force the roll, uh, but yeah, Caleb not falling for it. He's like, look, that's if you want to kill me off ledge, uh, I'm not going to give it to you. That's your only option, so whatever. All right, now that's right. De was going to go off and get the second ledge, uh, hit the trampoline, but didn't react fast enough or really just wasn't close enough. But finally, uh, Caleb's going to get the first, uh, take his stock, and like this is a pretty good position for Mouse Rat, uh, but you know, in situations like this, you know, Caleb is still going to play slow. So really, the two things that are going to be going for Mouse Rat is the fact that he is in fact winning, shocker, uh, and that the timer is almost out. So if he doesn't force it, if he doesn't like try and go for the kill, then he can play that to his advantage. You know. Because Mouse Rat, because uh, Caleb is still going to be relatively pa passive. Because honestly, that's kind of really all the options that he really has. But like as you can tell, you can see already, he's woo. Okay, didn't even get to finish my sentence. Uh, T Jolt knocking the Hydrant away, and um, Mouse Rat taking game two. I was going to mention just the fact that uh, Caleb was closing the gap there, uh, and like just. Kind of getting like not big strings, but getting like useful damage. Oh, he back aired the hydrant after the T jolt, so that it ended up hitting him instead. Unfortunate. Uh, that's something that you could definitely see as just being like, a little difficult to time uh, on something on like on uh, Wi Fi. But yeah, all right, so Mouse Rat up 2 0. Welcome back, Helper. Yeah, so I have to stop streaming for personal reasons. So, bye guys. Oh, you're out? Okay, have a good one, dude. I mean, I'm gonna hang out, I just can't, like, cast. Oh, okay. But yeah, bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ubisoft, you wanna finish off the night with me? Three. All right, so we're going back to town and city. Honestly, yeah, I get that. Um, if he's able to get to have a few things go his way, uh, like more correctly, then uh, he'll be in a really good position. Honestly, that first kill kind of made him have to play catch up, and like playing catch up with a character like Pac Man can be kind of difficult. And you know, he was doing a pretty good job, uh, nonetheless. So, opting to pick the same stage, uh, definitely understandable. Okay. I lo these are funny anti airs with the Galaga. Uh. The 
four swaps. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah, see, now we're kind of just seeing, like, uh, the game that Caleb, like, wants to play. Uh, it's, like, you know, really playing to the Pac-Man strengths right now. And, ooh, okay. Cheeky little setup being just being like, hey, uh, run into this, please. Thank you. But Mouse Rat not going to fall for it. And, yeah, just uh, Caleb not overextending, not trying to, like, really push anything here. And just being, like, waiting for the kill to, to present itself. You don't have to force it. You're in a really good position. And uh, honestly, like, with the playstyle that Mouse Rat has, might be one of the best to, like, defuse this in the sense that, like, he's not very aggressive to begin with. So, like, he, too, is just, like, waiting for that opening. And so even though he's behind, he's not dead. And, like, if, if your opponent isn't getting the win condition, then who cares, you know? And he, if he's able to just, like, just edge that percent little by little then he can make it more even and uh, leave himself and just like that we get like a small opening for like a tougher punch Ooh, I like that uh, forward smash to to force like a jump read and then going for it and the thunder not killing but just like just like that uh, the percent is even, so ooh, 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 but that forward smash finally gonna take out Mouse Rat. All right, so now, now we get to see uh, Caleb with a stock lead. So while while he is knocking on Death's door quite a bit, it is gonna be a little bit difficult for Pikachu to try and get this kill. You know, Pac-Man is a character that. Apparently is heavy enough to survive that. Hilarious. Okay, almost. Oh boy. Like if he's able to get his bearing and set up, all right. Uh, buy some time with the trampoline, but not too much. The platform's coming in to give him a roof over his head, and the la later hit of that down air gonna finally take him off the side. 60 damage, not that big of a deal, but in this sort of a matchup, can be. It really just depends on how they're going to go with it. And Maelstrom actually taking a fairly aggressive approach and really making quick work. Uh, possibly catching uh, CK level off guard for a little bit. But, yeah. All right. 10, 20 damage uh, lead. Caleb. All right, good punish on the on the hydrant smack with the dash attack. How much damage does Pikachu's dash attack do? I'm at, since it's a kill move, I imagine it does decent damage. Someone let me know in the chat. Ooh. Yeah, I, I actually like Mouse Rat's actually been mixing up his passive gameplay with uh, sprinkles of aggression, and it, it you can tell it's actually working pretty well for him. He's kind of having to keep Caleb on his toes and just, like, when he's going to go in or not. And, you know, keeping it even, not really letting him push that advantage. Ooh. All right. Melon not going to be enough. Oh, scary. All right, back throw going to do it. It is. Okay. Wasn't completely against the ledge, but was close enough to do it. So, yeah, we're just seeing a repeat of the, of the previous stock where, like, he has a lead. He's kind of knocking on death's door. Okay. What can he do with this stock lead? He's got to build some more damage uh, for it to mean anything. Okay, all right. Choosing to recover from the other side of the stage. He got knocked, so it was like, whatever. Ooh. Mouserat's actually really putting on some uh, 
pretty impressive pressure, honestly. Okay, I like the fact that uh, Caleb opted to stay in shield the whole time. Honestly, that great. It was like the 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 expected thing is like, oh, I hit my shield. I'm gonna try and punish him. He was just like, no, I'm just gonna hold the block. It's fine. Uh, I don't think you're gonna try and go for the up throw kill. Up air gonna be taking it. Okay. Oh man, really running. The oh wow, yeah, 25 seconds left on the clock. I actually didn't even notice. All right, he's got to build some damage real fast for the for the last 10 seconds. 93, not impossible to deal 60 more. No, it's gone. It's over. Five seconds. Five, four, yeah. All right. Three, two, one, time. All right, game game three going to uh game. to Caleb. That was a lot of like. Uh, really good interactions from the both of them. I actually didn't even notice that the timer was that low. I knew that it was running out, but I thought there was still like maybe a minute or two left on that. <laughs> it's in replay for the time, I guess. And as you can see, he uh, is going to flicker his shield so Pac Man does a tiny animation. When it says time. Ready? Okay. Okay, so Mouse Rat is even opting to go back to uh, Town City. You know what? Like, it, it kind of like I don't, I don't think his uh, idea is that. Well, I won the first time we were here because he definitely got like a. He set the pace of the game with that early kill, but like with just how even that last game is and how willing the, both of these players are are able to go for the time. He's like, hey, yeah, no, that could have went. That could have went in my favor. So, just gotta. Uh, keep tacking on that itty bits of damage, but really it's just like the pace of the match is kind of set by the first stock. Uh, and right now, again, you know, Caleb beginning to pull a little bit ahead, but you know, it's really hard to decipher like a lead in these positions here. Uh, Caleb going for that, the uh, the cheesy classic Pac-Man setup with that uh, the bell with the water, but not falling for it. It's it, we're getting to that time where someone might die. Right now, it's looking a little bit more likely a mouse rat will die. Pac-Man definitely heavier and at lower percentage right now. So, okay. Ooh, spooky. All right, forward smash, uh, getting punished by the dash attacks, not gonna be enough. All right. That was really good stuff, honestly. Ooh, he ran into the trampoline and then uh, ate a back air. What a, what a setup. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, so now this is kind of the pace uh, that looks like is gonna be set here, unless Mouse Ride's able to make something happen. Uh, we have a stock lead once again. Uh, by Caleb and see what he's able to do with it. I think we're going to see, okay, I was going to say we're going to see a lot of uh, signs from the last stop, from the last game, which we still kind of are. This was like a similar-ish position here, although I think he had a, a large, a little bit of a larger lead. But, I mean, 90 to 
90 to 20. Like, for Pac-Man, that's really good. Like, going for trades. Wow, he actually was able to dodge the, uh, the trampoline. All right, Mouse Rat closing the gap. Dealt 20 where he only took 10. So, all right, 30. Mouse Rat's catching up. He's not giving uh, Caleb any breathing room to like get things going. Get uh, the end part of that down are gonna finally give him the space that he wanted. I like the fact that he didn't uh, retreat in front of him to get hit by the bell. Oh my god, we're already, we're already down to almost the last three minutes. These interactions are pretty tight. Okay. Okay, oh, spooky. Ooh, that was so smart with that apple there. If he had went for the... Well... Does Kukadak straight up lose to that, or would he end up like possibly clanking? I'm not sure the... It's an article, so it, w it is transcendent. I think he would straight up lose to that, maybe. But it does have a hit heart box, doesn't it? Okay, hitting the pellet, but uh, Caleb thinking fast and just opting to just go low, uh, just extra low so he could just trampoline, but not enough where he would have to trampoline three times. Oh, scary stuff. Ooh, is that going to be enough? It is. Down smash going to be taken off now. Mouse Rat, shoes on the other foot, uh, able to have a lead, but kind of knocking on death's door. So he's got to be very careful and very methodical uh, to see what's going to happen. Two minutes left on the clock. I feel, okay, well, there goes that. That stock, the melon, that slow melon is so good. It just covers, it's like, it just covers so much space because it's slow moving. Slow projectiles are so annoying. <laughs> and, all right, we got some heavy damage going on from both ends. Uh, but Maltra taking a little bit more of the brunt of it. Uh, taking 60 damage, but Caleb not too far behind, 45? Okay, wow, so the, well, actually that makes sense. Uh, the three frames you gain from uh, from pairing and in, uh, into the three frame nair. All right, approaching the last minute, and these percents are definitely much closer to even than they were before. I think we might actually we might see a kill. I'm not sure. Oh my god, he ended up getting hit by the bill anyway. Ooh, that would have been a really crazy grab okay careful 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 oh my god all right and there for touching him don't touch me don't touch me oh my god the hydrant eating all the tea jills letting him get to the fruit of his choice all right 35 seconds Woo, holding block for an eternity. That thing is a skittle. All right. Careful, careful. <gasps> Ooh, almost had it. But now 50% deficit and 25 seconds on the clock. Uh-oh, that... Wow, I thought I could have up smashed. All right, well, yeah, we saw... Uh, it not go to time. That... Oh, that was... Uh, pretty intense. I don't know. You can't have them any other way, Sketch. It must be this way. <sighs> uh, the re this set recording is 29 minutes and 30 seconds now.
so far. You mean longer than uh, the amount of time he got a chance to speak? <laughs> Anyone got a chance to speak? Sketch. Ooh, so for game five, we are going to see the gunner coming out. And we're going to Yoshi's. Interesting. So, let me, uh, we have a uh, normal ceiling, normal blast zones, but high platforms, which make the ceiling seem extra low if he's able to take advantage of uh, situations like that. We also have a pillar stage, which means Pikachu gains a, uh, a wall jump. I don't think Gunner has a wall jump, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. Also some slopes that could be uh, advantageous for those grenades that he's dropping to like help send them off stage while being further closer to the center. Wall jokes. All right, just like we saw game one, like even though we saw like a pretty like sizable lead by Mouse Rat in the percentages, like if uh, if Caleb is able to like sneak out those stealthy kills, <laughs> um, he can be right back in this. And uh, Gunner seems to be heavy enough to like deal with like most of Pikachu stuff. So like 115, like unless it's a strong kill, like forward smash. That was really the only way we were going to see it. So now we're in a really good position for uh, Mouse Rat. Only 65 damage and triplats. Lots of uh, lots of space to just move around in. And you can see he's just being like, fine. Like I know you want to play the slow game. I can play the slow game too. Check out my uh, my qu my quick attacks all over the place. Okay, all right. Whoa, oh man. You can tell that that wasn't intentional because I didn't like really fully uh, take advantage of that sort of situation. I don't even know if Gunner has those options. If he does, that's pretty cool. Man, that's right, it's taking barely any percentages here. This might have been a bad pick for for Caleb. Good luck, Lou Jesus. Woo! All right, stealth kill. Wow, actually, the stealth kill, uh, Making it way more even than I thought it was. Because, uh, only 40 damage? That's kind of not anything. We actually might see the... We actually might see the clock come into uh, play here. Already approaching three and a half minutes left, and they're not even halfway done with their stocks. At what percent do you consider a stock to be half over? Chat, let me know. Ooh, ooh, okay. Well, for Gunner in this matchup, maybe. I don't even know. Could be any percent. Okay. Good lord. I mean, he's, he's getting enough damage. Well, he's getting close to getting enough damage where if he's able to land a stealth kill, <laughs> he might end up in the lead. Ooh, all right, see, that's the kind of drag down that uh, 
looks like she can do stuff with. Nice drag down fair up air with uh, to up tilt. And Bagger gonna take him off the side. Suddenly Caleb is in the lead here. Albeit, you know, uh, uh, if we see a smash attack, I, I don't think that he can die to a dash attack yet. So I think we're just gonna have to see either a Gimp or, or F smash. But now this is a really uh, interesting situation because again, the, the platforms are gonna play a, a pretty good role in this. Woo, you saw that? All right, good reaction or maybe he was just mashing the up B, honestly. Okay. Uh, Mouse Red able to even up the stocks here. Forty percent deficit. It's so weird when you when you're playing for like not exactly for time, but you're playing so slow that like these deficits can mean quite a lot. Like literally a twenty five percent deficit. Like how many interactions do they need to have for it? Because they just hit for just so many little slaps, you know. All right. Uh oh. Less than a minute, 80%. Oh boy, he's gonna make back 60 damage. Ooh, wow, those T-Jaws coming from literally everywhere. Okay. Oh, that whiff, but it didn't. wasn't able to capitalize on it. And then uh, T-Caleb was able to get the hit out anyway. Oh my. All right, less than 30 seconds on the clock here. And he's got to build like 50 damage to just even it. All right, that that's a good start. It's off stage. 15 seconds. Oh, that up smash would have done some really good help. Ooh, I. Whoa, whoa, bro! That's enough. He did it. Oh my god. Oh. My oh wow. Well there. You Jesus Christ. And it goes to see Caleb. <laughs> Oh my god. Per perfect timing, song. Perfect timing. You're kidding me. That up smash. Look, he literally, like, he has it. And then, boom. Oh my god. You're kidding me. What a wild set. Jesus. That's unbelievable. If the time, oh my God, that, even if the timer didn't run out, he got the up smash, like he was dead. <laughs> oh my. I'm pretty sure that was up tilt, but it doesn't matter. Oh, maybe, oh, you're right. That is up tilt. That's definitely up tilt. You're right. I think I still would have killed. I mean, even got the kill screen. I definitely would have killed. Yeah, it was on the platform <laughs> and everything. Oh my god. It was definitely Pikachu getting hit with that shit. He literally takes the lead with that up throw. If he didn't chase him, if he didn't chase him after the up throw, then he would have been able to run away. It put him 1% in the lead. Like, I understand why he wouldn't have uh, assumed that. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Mouserat, but great stuff by... Uh, like Caleb, god damn.